Guys, I said that I was going to attempt to do my own version of trying to do a tutu skirt here. I looked up a couple different tutorials. Um, but again, hi guys. Um, welcome to House of J's. Um, still getting ready for ZZ's birthday here. I'm um, doing different stuff. Um, so, I completed the little doily thing with the one. You guys saw that in part one. Um, so, now I'm going to try to do the... Um, the tutu um, part. Now, <laughs> this may be not great, so bear with me here. Um, so first I'm gonna start with, I need my, one, one moment, cause she's being nosy and she wants to see. So I basically, I needed a um, measuring tape here. So I have my measuring tape. And this is actually just a the the one flap on the um off of a diaper, a box of diapers. And I only want her the tutu to to measure about six inches down. So from what I've seen in all the tutorials, is basically um you wanna double that on here because you're gonna fold it in half. Um, they had some other things. So, I'm just going to try with just, you know, measuring this, my tool, and scissors, and see. Um, I do have to get some silver, so that'll be coming hopefully later. So, basically, I want to measure out 12 inches, as they say, to double it so that, because we'll be, you know, you'll be... So I want to measure out 12 inches. If you don't know how to use a measuring tape, basically just pull. And we want to get it to 12, which essentially will just say a foot. The awesome thing about a measuring tape is it has this little, it has the button thing so that you can just, it'll just stay. And then I'm going to go here and see how much is 12 inches. Clip that on the end and go here. And as you see, it's right here. So I'm going to mark this here using my ink pen. So I'm using my ink pen. I'm going to go ahead and mark gotta make sure I don't gotta make sure it stays here so I can't I'm so sorry guys I need a better I just wish I had a uh, stand for this um basically I'm gonna mark right here where the 12 inches start I'll be back I'll be back guys all right, so you guys see, I marked that. And then I'm just gonna cut. Just gonna cut. Right there. Now, I have some stronger scissors, which are like, they have like these ridges on it, but I really don't feel like it's gonna look like them. Okay, so now I have this, and this is 12 inches, just a foot, um, because I don't want it to be, like, really long and dangly. I really just want it to just come about, you know, just to hang a little bit off of her, just to hang a little bit off of her, you know, um, little high chair. So, then we take the tool. Now, I got this from Walmart, and I think it's, like, 10 yards or so. I can't remember. I did, I used this to make a um, a diaper bouquet before, so um, I, I the the paper is already torn off, which I know I'll probably have to buy some more to finish out the tutu. Um, but basically, this is a cinch in, six inches of uh, wide width, and 
Um, I think it's 10 yards. So, basically, just go ahead and we're going to measure out and just go around the long, just go around, just going to go around and around and around and around. Um, I'm going to do probably nine, okay? And I'll come back. Back. I went around nine times here with the tool. Um, the pink tool. So you guys can see. I went around nine times. And then I'm going to cut here. The edges. Here. Cut up here. I'll cut here. And then I'll cut here. On each edge. And then put it together. And that should be We'll do the same with the white. Um, so, I am, again, I'm just trying to do it the, you know, this is the, the best way to make it cute, but simple and cheap at the same time for me. And I got this twine from Dollar Tree. Um, it, they have, this usually comes in like a pack of, Three different colors, like a beige. But I think that I used the beige already doing um, um, doing balloon columns for someone's birthday or baby shower. So I'm going to use the green. And then basically we're just going to take a piece of tool. Grunch it up just a little bit. I, I, I mean, I would fold it here. And then fold it here. Fold it like this. And you see? And then you got your hole. And then you have your twine. And just start at the beginning. Um, leave about because I'm just going to tie it. I'm not going to I'm I'm not going to have any um velcro or anything. So I'm going to leave about an inch or two so that I can tie it at the back of her um on the back of her um high chair. So let's do it like this. You guys see it? You see you got the hole here. And basically all you're doing is you're going to take your hole. All you're really doing, wrap. Again. You got your hole here. And just, really, just, this is what I did. This is what I'm going to do. And you just put this through. Here. And as you get more on there, it'll be easier. But again, I'm just trying to keep these the few inches off here, so I gotta be careful here. And just pull. And that's the start of a to-do. And then just go ahead and put your white, put your silver, put your you know, because I'm doing pink, white, and silver, as I said. So then you just do your pink, white, silver, pink, white, silver, and just keep going until it's as full as you want it to be or as thin as you want it to be. And basically, this is how you do just a simple, cheap way to do the tutu um the tutu high chair. Because then what's gonna happen is after I finish all the way across, um, before I get to the end, I'm gonna what I'm going to do is I'll, when I, once I get to the middle here, I'm going to do, I'm going to glue with my glue gun. Like you, you guys know, I love my glue gun and I'm going to glue the little doily right there on the little tutu skirt with the one. Cause I just did the one. I didn't do the iron and it's just going to be a one and it's going to be this little tutu stuff. And then I'm going to wrap it right around her, uh, high chair. And then that's going to be her little tutu high chair there. 
and then I'll work on some other things. Um, you'll see me back making her, um, you guys will see me back making her, um, her hat, her birthday hat. So again, just continue all the way around, make it however you want to make it with the patterns that you want to make, you know what I mean? The colors that you want to make it, um, and make it as full as you can. The fuller you want it, you want to put more closer, you know, uh, if you don't want it so full, then you can, you know, space it out a little bit. Again, Dollar Tree twine, Walmart tool, you know, tool uh, fabric, and just, you know, cut it. And then you just tie it at the back. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tie it on her um, on her um, high chair. But I'm also going to use my glue gun to glue it in the front so that it'll go. Um, so that it'll stay for a little bit. But with the low temperature glue gun, here's the note. With the low temperature glue gun, you'll be able to easily peel it back off later. That's why I like the low temperature glue gun. Because it sticks things, you know, together. But... It also allows you to be able to take things apart if you need to without any big hassles. So that's that. Um, I got to still get the silver. So that's that. I might update this a little later with the other colors and silver and the finished product. But this is a really simple one that I'm putting up there. So... Have fun, guys. I'm done. I got to put some silver in there. Um, probably in those little spaces that you see. And then the finished doily with the one and everything will go right here in the middle. And there it goes.